Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh. That's double on the Son of the Elder Apostles at Great Millstone for the teachings of the Scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. You know, we are entering into a new age of censorship because I already did a video that it shows you that I can't type certain things on my comment board anymore. But now it's getting deeper because sooner or later the most high i don't know when but i do know it will come the most High will put the spirit on the elder apostle tar to shut this whole thing down you know what i'm saying and we're gonna not be teaching it no more it will come in the end right before the destruction comes so let me start this video wait let me read this amos 8 11 behold the days come Say if Yahweh the power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Second Corinthians two eleven, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. He he will not get an advantage over us, because we are not ignorant of his devices. And one of his devices is the things that they're setting up right now, which is the digital online world, which will eventually go into the RFID chip. Now it says here, well, I typed it, I, I named this video, new future of censorship, famine of the word digitally, no more great video, great millstone video soon. And I will put this video that I collected, cut and set up, myself uh, I will put it uh, separately I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself and, and, and uh, one of my questions leading to is helping now this is was this was in 2005 right and this is the guy from Google and, and uh, one of my questions leading to is help us understand where is the future of search going well where is the future of search going so that, that means that, you know, searching stuff online. I already did videos showing you that Google is taking away these certain things that I used to find online very easy. And now they want to basically give me an answer. Instead of, for example, having multiple outlets. For example, look, conquistador smashing babies against the stone. You can't find anything and it stops. You see, Google ran out of words. They ran out of words now. Right? It doesn't go any further. Now, if I go to YouTube and I type the same thing in, wait, let me see some. If I type the same thing in in Google here, when I say, wait, look, look, look. If I type in, um, yeah, this one, you should already know I did it here. Conquistador smashing babies against a stone, which is something that they did. Google runs out of words. You can only find this one a little bit, which kind of goes into it, but back in the days, you could find it instantaneously and it would be the first one to pop up but now what is popping up is Psalms on the 37 and 9 but that is actually the revenge that the Jacob descendants are going to do on the Edomites for the things that the Edomites have done upon the Jacob descendants right so if I go to Yahoo and I type it in the first picture that I get is the one that I'm actually looking for you know, but it's also made small, but still, it is what I'm looking for. This is what they did to the Native Americans, but actually, it's supposed to be the other way around. This thing is supposed to be here. It's supposed to be flipped horizontally. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. So, yeah, you can find it here, but now they have it as a stupid cartoon art, which is the... The direction it was actually supposed to be drawn in. The man is supposed to be on the left side, yeah. Anyway, you got the uh, Yandex also not showing it anymore. I guess they must have seen my videos. Conquistador smashing babies. You just see this now. Just foolishness. You see the conquistadors burning natives and stuff like that, but you don't see them smashing the, the children babies against the stone. 
you see, and then I put this in, Conquistador Smashing Babies in Google, and then I get this one over here, and it's almost all uh, done also, you see? So the search engines are being algorithmically programmed to find certain things and to give you an answer that they want, right? Before you know it, they're going to they're gonna make sure, the Heavenly Father is going to make sure that they will have the total authority to ban any form of information that diverts from their information and it goes into a movie called Fahrenheit also 451 in 2008 but I'll get to that let me finish this clip when, when you use the future and, and one of my questions leading to is help us understand where is the future of search going well when, when you use Google um, do you get more than one answer? Of course you do. Yeah, of course. Well, that's a bug. Yeah. He says, when you use Google, you get more than one answer. Of course you do. Well, that's a bug. The fact that you get multiple answers, he calls it a bug. Because they don't want you to have multiple answers. They want you to have the answer that they have made ready for you. And that is the only way that you can actually learn then. Just like in schools. If you give the wrong answer, poop, you fail the test. But actually, the wrong answer is not the wrong answer. For example, who invented, uh, who discovered America? It was not Columbus because there was already people there. And in the Bible, it shows, but, but don't even go to the Bible because they don't believe in that. But the point is, there was already people there. That's like you discovering my, my, my. That's like me discovering your, your, your wife in your house. For example, I, I know it's an adultery example, but uh, I'm just giving an example, which shows you how stupid it is, this filthiness. You know, so going on. We, we have more bugs per second in, in the world. No, because no. We, we, we should be able to give you the right answer just once. We should be able to give you the right, an the right answer just once. So they want to take off all the other alternative... Mm, for example, you're looking for news, all the other alternative news uh, articles and sub websites, they want to take that away and just give you one answer, just like Alexa. Alexa, are eggshells good for the soil? According to an Amazon customer, no, don't use the eggshells, use the yolk, the plants will be happier. How many pressure points does a human body have? According to an Amazon customer, 420. The point of me showing this video is that this thing has been programmed to actually go to a Amazon customer in the review and then the customer, then it would read what the customer said. So basically you're getting fluff news, fluff answers off of one individual person, not off of fact because that person could just make stuff up. What is the hottest flame color? According to an Amazon customer, the hottest flame color is orange. The hottest flame color is orange? I thought it was blue. Yeah. I thought it was blue, and it is blue. Orange is not the strongest. This is, uh, orange is the weakest. The strongest is blue. The hottest flame is blue. With this so-called white thing here. That thing is giving you fluff answers. Well, that's the direction Google is going into. And it's going to be made truth. Just like how when you were in school, all those things, those answers are made truth. Meanwhile, they're not true. A lot of them are not true, but going on. We should know what you meant. You should look for information. We should give it exactly right, and we should give it to you in your language, and we, sh and we should never be wrong. You get that? We should never be wrong. <laughs> Other internal documents expose Google's hopes for ML fairness. Training data... Algorithmic... Algorithm... Documents expose Google's hopes for... Algorithmic unfairness. 
ML fairness. Training data are collected and classified. Algorithms are programmed. Media are filtered, ranked, aggregated, and generated. People, like us, are programmed. Sounds like social engineering. People will be programmed because you will be programmed to think a certain way. Because they, when they send you to school, they don't teach you how to think. They teach you what to think. Well, the same way will be on the internet soon in the future near you. Just like this movie, Fahrenheit 40... Five one four five one, which is a movie from 2008. You should watch this movie. It will show you something because without a lot of spoilers, the slavery is, is gone in this future. And then the boy, the, the Israelite guy, actually, this Michael B. Jordan, he finds out about it. You know? But that's why they live in harmony in the, in the near future. But that's bullshit, by the way. Seen a physical book before? Have you ever seen a physical book before? Have you ever seen a physical book before? I don't know what why the language is not English. Uh, how do you get there? Oh, it's only French. So that's bad. Do you want to know what's inside? Insanity. Chaos. Do you want to know what's inside Insanity Chaos? Referring to the books. You guys grow up, there won't be one book left. Yeah, sorry about me stopping the video, but I'll put all the links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. By the time you guys grow up, wait, sorry. By the time you guys grow up, there won't be any books. That's what he said. Chaos. By the time you guys grow up, there won't be one book left. Yes, sir. This is the future that they're, they're creating, and it is very close. Because the children are already stupid in school. Everything is being deprogrammed. You got boys thinking that they can be girls, and girls thinking that they can be boys. And uh, pedophilia is about to be legalized. They're working toward it. Oh, give them time, give them time. That's why the Lord said in the book of Matthew 24, if he doesn't hurry back, no flesh will be left to be saved. Little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Little knowledge is a dangerous thing. That's why they want to actually direct the information that you get when you, for example, use Google. And they're going to chain check a lot of search engines too, by the way. You know, it begins more, it, they will have more and more control over all the search engines. And therefore, they will have also control over the videos that we put out there on their platform. You got to understand, it's still their platform. The Most High set it up, and we are in a time right now where we got the information, and we're getting it out there. And before you know it, the Heavenly Father is going to close the door, just like he did in the time of Noah. And then everybody's going to be left out there to drown in that fire. This time it's going to be fire. Speaking of fire, let me play the video. News, facts, memoirs, internet of old, burn it. We are not born equal, so we must be made equal by the fire. But there's also an AI, and that AI, in this movie, you will see it yourself if you watch this movie, that AI is actually sentient, if, I'm, if, I, if I say the word right. Basically, it's aware of what you're doing and what you're talking and what you th it thinks. It can think because it's programmed like that. That's why you see in the movie, for example, Resident Evil, you, off, you see a little girl, and that's why also these AIs... What they're doing is these Edomites, they uh, analyze the brains of little children and then they put those brain waves into computers so that the computer can actually learn just like the, uh, the computer can scan how a child learns. Because a child, if you tell a child, for example, that ponies exist, I mean flying reindeers and stuff like that, the child will 100% believe it. Well, 
that capability of imagination you they want to actually let the computer have it and then work with it you know they're trying to make the computer as smart as a child because children are smarter than anybody thinks well on a, they're smarter on a different level for example they can they can um, they can learn chinese just by listening to it uh, a grown person can't really do that you need to actually read and study and stuff like that. Pop, pop, pop. The majority of the people actually, they can't even pronounce the words good, even if they hear it right in front of them. So, but a child can. So that's the type of capability that they want that the computers and softwares have, the so-called AIs. So right, let me go back to this. Not search querying. Or programmed. Sounds like social engineering not search querying the channel that i'm referring to is of course true stream media that has put out some great videos around these subjects including the ai oracle and the future of one shot answers that goes into this in great detail and breaks down these types of these new devices that will shape the way that we interact with information and to really stop us from being able to ever encounter thought crime information and that's the bigger picture killing of the internet as we know it but that's the the road that we're heading i think i might be in trouble china has developed a virtual anchor to deliver the news watch this hello everyone i'm an english artificial intelligence anchor this is my very first day in xinhua news agency my voice and appearance are modeled on zhang zhao a real anchor with xinhua the development of the media industry calls for continuous innovation so this is a basically a uh, ai right so a so-called and uh, you know looks real only the voice isn't but believe me they're working on that voice boy because i saw that movie called implanted this movie where you can see that female screaming her face off that movie in that movie you can hear the voice of the ai and it's exactly the one that you hear on youtube when you type in movie recap when you do the movie mystery me or mystery um for example let me see if i can hear the voice the premise of the movie is set during no 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 Maybe this one is it. Welcome back to movie recaps. That thing is a ro that thing is a software. This voice that you hear. Welcome back to movie recaps. Today I will show you a drama film from 2005 titled The Prize Winner of Defiance, Ohio. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. That thing is a software. That's the exam the exact same voice you will hear in this movie if you go and watch this movie which you can stream it online i think it's movie seven or something i don't know i forgot but uh yeah you can find it online streaming services they have it online it's just for free and yeah so that same movie uh sorry that's i'll put this link in the description box only for you to hear the voice and then you go watch this movie and you will hear that voice you'll be like what the fuck it actually sounds like a real person but if you if you pay attention it doesn't you know because you can see that it reads word for word without really understanding the sentence but they're working on that too the oh, oh boy that thing is gonna understand sentences I'll show you that in a minute in a few minutes uh, actually I, I mean actually 60 seconds I'm not I'm not talking that dumb shit <laughs> like you don't know when I haven't seen you in a minute. Yo, shut the f I haven't seen you in three years, man. What you talking about, minutes? You know, this is whackness. So I don't have to play this. This is the same thing as it's just going to talk. Right. And then you have this one. Well, I don't know. He, he needs a pretty Jackson, Jackson that fella. That's what he needs. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. <laughs> Jordan Peele created this fake video. Let me re let me repeat it, what he just said, because that thing is is real. What he said. Well, I don't know. He, he needs to put his accent on that fella. That's what he did. 
We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. We're entering an, an era which in which in our enemies can say anything and whatever, something like that. Anything. And it will be kind of believable. Entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. That's what they're that's what they're getting toward. Jordan Peele. You think that they just use CGI in movies, well. Uh, everybody thinks that, but they're doing it in real life too. Created this. So they can they can do stuff. They can stage something maybe. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Fake video of President Obama to demonstrate how easy it is to put words in someone else's mouth. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. Not everyone bought it. Right. Let's see. Yeah, I'll put this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. This is obviously fake, but they did that on purpose because that other one was kind of good. This one is very good too. But the point is that they're shaping a future, and I'm going to read all these things over here. So let me just go back to over here. Where is it again? Yeah, the Alexa thing. This is basically just false information, but it's going to be just like how the Google search engine will just give you one. For example, if you type in how does flame color, right? Now it gives you all these. Wait, let me see how many results. How many results in how many seconds? Wait, let me see. Here. I don't even know what the hell this number is. It's, it's a lot of numbers, I'll tell you that. I'll do what, 2 billion or something? 2 billion, 280 million results in 1.4. 47 uh, um 74 no 47 seconds yeah that's how much but they want to actually put this to one one result that's what the guy just said in the beginning of the movie but he said it in 2005 and we are now in uh, in 2022 and uh, one of my questions leading to is help us understand where's the future of search going Charlie oh, Rose. when when you use google um, do you get more than one answer? Yes. Of course you do. Yeah, of course. Well, that's a bug. Yeah. So this is a bug? Right, because he wants just one answer. He wants to control it to you. For, he wants to control it and then give it to you. Just like how this thing basically gives you an answer. And if you don't know the truth, then you're just going to believe it because that's the future that they work in toward, especially indoctrinating the children. Because that's how you get them. Because then they're going to believe. And then they're going to come home and fight their parents. But at this time, they're going to be the parents. Because the parents are going to be dead. And then their children are going to read it and learn it in school. And they're not really going to fight with their parents. Because their parents have kind of been taught the same thing. And then the older ones are going to be called dinosaurs and all that type of nonsense. Which they're already doing now. Because they think that they're going to be young forever. That's the beautiful part. Actually, I mean it in a sarcastic way. Because it's delusional. That's what they are. So, searches like this is going to be done away with. They're already doing it, by the way. You know, as you can see here, it's gone. You can't find it. You can't find it easily. And there's not that much because it's gone. Of course, uh, what was like that? Uh, it was trampling babies, of course. That's a statue in Norway. Also, Norway, you can just type it by find. Uh, you can just find it by typing "statue trampling babies." And you have another one uh, statue eating babies, and that's in Germany. But oh, that's another story. Let me see what is this. Entire family is starving, but housewife wins. What? Oh, oh yeah, that's that movie that I used the voice for. Yeah, that's this. This, this is that movie. We already saw this video. It's the same thing as over We're there, entering. right? And this we didn't see, so I'll click on this one. I'll put all the links in the description box. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. It turns out a big part of getting things done is making a phone call. We think AI can help with this problem. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment 
on Tuesday between 10 and noon. And remember, they have this technology now that they officially show. But when did they do it? They did it in 2018. And it has over 2 million, almost 3 million views. But the point is that, you know, they already have this technology and it's going on four years now. Yeah, going on four years. Yeah, it's actually four years. It's past four years because it's 30 May now. As you can see here, 30 May. And it was uploaded on 9 May. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. These people are laughing, but they're all finna get chipped, though. PM. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 115. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now? Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's your first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. So that's just one. And it actually sounds like a real person. That person probably doesn't know. I mean, hey, they can do whatever they want, right? But that's it. But listening to this thing, it doesn't sound like this 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 robot voice, which which was in the movie. And then you have another call, which is a little bit more... How you calling that thing? Difficult or something? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. But I'm going to put that in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And this time it's a mail. But, like I said, uh, these are the things that they're doing. And the famine of the word is coming. And what they have is also new speech. New speak. Because we was talking about, no, the elder apostles was talking about this years ago. And I often still mention it and stuff like that with the new speak that they have. They also change the etymology of a few words. For example, rioting in the Bible, which goes to orgies. But now it doesn't go to orgy anymore. So you need to do a lot of backflips in order to still get the same result. I did a video about that. That they're changing the etymology of words. And what does the word etymology mean? Etymology means fact of the origin and development of a word. Study of the true sense of a word. So, right. Etymon, or, um, etymon means true sense, right? Or, original meaning. Neuter ethos, true, real, actual, ethos, true. And uh, what's, what's, uh, what's logic again? Log, uh, log, logica, which is logical, right? Logica, logic. Yeah, logia, which is study of, a speaking of. So basically, true sense, study of. So basically, the truth, the truth, the truth, true study, study of the truth, and the origin of that word. They're destroying that. So this is the book, nineteen eighty four. From uh, this Arwell guy, I forgot his name. But I would just read a few things here. Now it says here, Newspeak was designed not to an extend, but to diminish the range of thoughts. Thought. And this purpose was indirectly assisted by cutting the choice of words down to a minimum. That's the same thing that they want to do with the search engines. They want to cut it down to a minimum, diminish it. What is the word diminish? Make or become less. And what do they want to make less? Even your thoughts. Because 
just like how you know about the Deuteronomy 28 when you didn't know about Deuteronomy 28 did other things come in your head no it, it didn't because it didn't exist that you were an Israel you was an Israelite so you didn't have all these other questions now that you know you're Israelite now you actually start questioning more because you think different because now there's a possible there's a door open and you can go through that door but let's say there's only let's say there's 10 doors and then uh, you don't know you're an Israelite there's only 10 doors but if you know you're an Israelite then door 11 appears now you're gonna go to door 11 and you find out a whole hall of doors and then you find door 12 13 14 15 16 and stuff like that but if you don't know you're an Israelite then guess what you only have 10 doors in your mind you can go to all 10 but they're gonna strongly diminish that range of thought also so the 10 for now is gonna be 10 but your children might get like uh, seven or six that is if they don't talk if you don't t teach them talk to them because they have something that's called a surrogate parent or something like that surrogate a surrogate parent Surrogate parents. Now, a surrogate parent is a person appointed by a school district or court to represent a child with a disability. Doesn't mean doesn't necessarily have to be a disability. Who has or need may need special education services. It doesn't necessarily need to go in this. This is uh, what it could be also. A person appointed by a school district. So the government is basically your surrogate, could, your, could be your surrogate parent because they have your children eight hours a day in school. And I've been talking about that for years. And after that, I often say,